Good morning, Falcons. Welcome to another show. Today we have sports, weather, entertainment, announcements, and some cool math videos. I'm Casper. And I'm Ashley. And Falcon TV starts right, right now. now. fun over the long weekends. I hung out with my friends, I baked cookies, and... I played Fortnite. Oh! Fun! But I heard that a bunch of people had sports tournaments over the weekend. Oh yeah, other sports are going on too. Let's go to Dylan and Michael to get the updates. Hello Falcons, welcome back to the sports update. We are now reaching the end of the football season with the Super Bowl coming up on the horizon. The Chiefs are facing off against the 49ers in Las Vegas for the final match of the NFL season at the Super Bowl. Let's see if Purdy can bring it home for the 49ers. Moving on to the NBA, Thunder, Timberwolves, and Nuggets are top three teams in the West Conference so far. Thunder with 33 wins and 15 losses, the Timberwolves with 33 wins and 14 losses, and the Nuggets with 33 wins and 15 losses. Some NBA matches coming up consist of the Suns playing the Hawks, and over the weekend, the Lakers play the Knicks and the Bucks play the Mavs. One NBA match I'm really looking forward to is the Raptors versus Thunder on Sunday at 4. The Raptors are going to get crushed. No contest. We'll see. Now let's head to the pitch for some soccer news. We have a ton of engaging matches coming up. The Champions League is soon to be fully underway as the groups disband and transition into sudden death matches. Some huge names were eliminated in the groups and we are now just down to 16 teams. On to the matches. Leipzig and Real Madrid face off. February 13th at 12 to kick off the first start of the first leg. Also playing February 13th at 12 is Copenhagen versus Man City. Sounds like some interesting matches coming up very soon. I know, right? I can't afford to miss any of those matches. Also, yesterday in the Premier League, Lewin destroyed Brighton 4-0 after being a huge underdog in the match. That's insane. Now let's head to the ring for some UFC action. In UFC Fight Night, Dolores faces off against Imamov in a high-profile matchup. That's surely a must-watch. Falcon TV's podcast about sports cricket officially comes out today. Go check out the hard work of Falcon TV staff as they debate about events going on in the vast sports world. Now, now back, back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. I prefer Fortnite over real life sports. Good for you. Fortnite probably takes a lot of math and brain power to win, right? Not really. Whatever. I just needed a transition to go to Miss Pooji's math videos. Let's check it out. Just waking up in the morning, gotta thank Pooji. I don't know, but today seems kinda suey. No problems in my steps, got the slope and play. Check my notebook, clear lines, no dismay. Pen in hand, ready to learn in the math relay. Rolling through the lessons to the rhythm of the beat. Slope submission, can't accept defeat. Step one, find two points on the line. X1, Y1, X2, Y2, take your time. It was a good day, solving for slope. Step two, find a change in its Y. It's Y2 minus Y1. Slope's my guide, leading the way. Step three, find a change in X. It's X2 minus X1. I hit the classroom feeling sharp like a math ace. Graphing lines with slope, set the pace. Step four, calculate rise over run. It's a fraction game, we're having fun. Step five, simple further fraction, keep it neat. Don't forget the sign, whether positive or fleet. Step six, you got your slope. M is the key in the world of math where solutions decree. It was a good day. Solving for slope, hooray. Step seven, expressed it and rise over run. So it's my guy leading the way. We're not done. Step eight, intercept the slope. It's the rate of change. Here comes the sun. In the language of math where equations converse, solving for slope, it's a blessing, not a curse. On the coordinate plane where X and Y align, plot your points, it's a mathematical design. Step nine, connect the dots, draw the line so find the slopes and navigator, it's a mathematical shrine. It was a good day, solving for slope, hooray. Step 10, check your work, make sure it's okay. So it's my guide leading the way. Step 11, celebrate the victory, it was a good day. So fun to make. I wish I was in Miss Pooji's class. Wait, aren't you? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Her class is always so cold though. I wouldn't know, but I do know that outside is kind of cold. I hope it warms up. Gunnar and Zach, take it away. Welcome back to the Weather Falcons. The highs next week will be in the low 60s with rain all week long. 
Why is Britain the whitest country? Why? Because royalty has been there for centuries. That was silly. The wave next week will be up to six feet. I don't surf, but that sounds great. Why do surfers eat cold food? I don't know why. Because they hate microwaves. I too tend to like household appliances. That's it for the weather, Falcons. Now back to the end. Hey, Ashley, what's the difference between Fahrenheit and Celsius? I don't know. What is it? I don't know either. I wasn't paying attention in my fifth grade science class. Was that supposed to be a joke? No. All right, then. Let's go see if anyone else knows the answer. What country has the most Olympic medals? Jamaica. Um, China. It was the U.S. What's the fastest spinning planet in our solar system? Pluto? What's the strongest bone in the body? The femur. The femur. <laughs> Give us an easy answer, okay? Okay, what's the largest country in Europe? Easy enough for you? Paris. Huh? <laughs> what? Country! Oh, um... What's the largest one in Europe? Country in Europe, yes. Um... Yeah. yeah. What do paleontologists study? They study, um... Study bones. What's the most widely grown crop in the United States? Flour? It's corn. On the periodic table, what does the letter N represent? Tungsten? N. N? Yeah. Nitrogen? A! Falcons, welcome back to the first show of semester two. New week, new updates. Yep, the last episode of Percy Jackson and the Olymp Olympians came out Tuesday. Really? I'll have to watch that. I've already seen some clips. It seems cool. Can't wait for the next season. Same. Anyway, some movies in theaters are Mean Girls and the Wonka movie. The Wonka movie was amazing and funny. Also, a movie coming out on February 2nd is a Jungle Bunch Operation Meltdown. We also have Kung Fu Panda 4 coming out on March 8th. Wow, that's far away. Yeah, but I'm sure it'll be worth the wait. I also heard that NF the Musican is on tour. He's playing here in San Diego on June 6th and June 7th. That's even farther away. Yeah, but like you said, it'll be worth the wait. Speaking of musicians, what's your favorite song? I don't know, there's so many. Same here. Let's see what everyone else's favorite songs are with Keeping Up With Courtney. <laughs> what's your favorite song? Anything by Taylor Swift or Whistle by the Josh Hutcherson edit. Can you sing it? <laughs> Can you blow my whistle, baby? Whistle, baby. Let me know. That's all I know. Okay, good job. What's your favorite song? What's your favorite song? Big Mouth Strikes Again by the Smiths. Can you sing it? Uh, her Roman nose and her Walkman started to burn. Okay. What's your favorite song? Happy birthday. Can you sing it? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Okay, good. Okay. What's your favorite song? Popular by The Weeknd. Can you sing it? Begging on her knees to be popular. Bands and tunes to be popular. Kill anyone to be popular. Drugs to be popular. Everybody scream because she popular. <laughs> she made scream because she popular. Begging on her knees to be popular. Okay, thank you. What's your favorite song? Pride by Kendrick Lamar. Can you sing it? No. What's your favorite song? Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. Can you sing it? Sorry, no. What's your guys' favorite song? Let it, Let it go. Can you sing it? Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. What's your favorite song? Uh, Blank Space by Taylor Swift. Can you sing it? Um, um, nice to meet you. Where you've been? I can show you incredible things. Magic, madness, heaven, sin. Saw you there, and I thought, oh my gosh.
Thanks, guys. That wasn't very entertaining. Casper, be nice. Let's not insult our own crew. I guarantee that Miss Poogee's map videos are more entertaining. Sure. Speaking of that, let's watch another one. Yay! Plucky Plucky on the beat, he is a math elite. This is going to be electrifying. No more my rules you define. Relip with the vocals, he wants you to check out his socials. But the script won't let him promote, or at least that's what I wrote. But as you will see, slope is as easy as one to three. This rap needs some energy, that's a math guarantee. Why he feels mess plus B. Now you see, then M is the slope, M is the slope. And B is the Y in the step, the B is the Y in the step. Slope and the step from his key, it is Y equals max plus B. I do foresee total anarchy. If you don't love slope, Say bye to the Pope, but at least I hope this doesn't sound like I'm having a stroke. The script is trash, just like Nash. This I can defy. No, this Christ is all I desire. Y equals max plus B. Now you see the M is the slope, the M is the slope, and B is the Y in the set, the B is the Y in the set. Okay, but actually, and I'm saying this factually, it's time to learn slow. Hope it's not out of my scope. Let me show you the ropes to find the slope. It's rise over run, but I've just begun. Y over X is another valid method. It's not complex. Stop getting lightheaded. Y equals max plus B. Now you see, the M is the slope, the M is the slope, and B is the Y in the set, and B is the Y in the set. But what's that thing at the end that makes the equation extend? Oh, it is the B, and I do decree that it's where the line intersects the Y axis. Math is just divine, but the might take some practice, but when you grab and then saying this on mass behalf, I'ma be first in line. Slope is just fine. Y equals max plus B. Now you see that M is the slope, the M is the slope, and B is the Y in the set, the B is the Y in the set. There were so many numbers in that math video, it made my head hurt. Same, that's not the only thing that hurts my head. What? Really? What else? Robotics. Oh, yeah, that can be confusing. I wonder how they get the robots to actually move. Let's check it out. Many high schools have clubs, and one club in particular is the Robotics Club. Here at Sage Creek High School, there are several robotics teams. In hardware, we uh, basically take an idea that our whole team came up with, and we make it into a reality by using a bunch of different pro advanced processes such as computer-aided design and actually building it ourselves with metal and custom parts. The robotics team has several departments that work on different elements. So I'm on team 10809 Crow Force, and my role is I'm on the business team. So something that I am I take a part of is I'm in charge kind of, of outreach and just making sure that like our team connects with the members of our community such as junior, seniors as well as kids in elementary schools and middle schools. Another big part of what I do is fundraising. Um, we have uh, the upcoming Ice Town Ice Skating fundraiser and I was able to put together a flyer for that and send that and coordinate everything. You might be wondering, what are the teams working towards? FTC Robotics it also stands for First Tech Challenge and it's where teams assemble a robot for a certain challenge and it involves coding and software, building the robot and hardware and also raising funds and doing outreach and business. The teams start at the beginning of the year and they get a challenge that they're supposed to do and they go to competitions and compete against other teams throughout the county. If they do well at the, at the competitions then they get to go to world championships um, in, later in the year. With all that said, how can you join robotics? To, to join robotics is that you have to be in ninth through twelfth grade and you have to be uh, a student in the school district. So there's robotics clubs here at Sage Creek and there's also robotics teams at um, uh, Carlsbad High. With camera operator Dylan Haney, this is Sunil Misan reporting for Falcon TV. Still don't get it. Same, but I heard that there's a robotics team at our school. Maybe you can learn? That's cool. I'll not be joining though. Is there anything else going on at school? I don't know. Emmett, take it away. Happy Friday, Falcons. I'm Emmett with your weekly announcements. The Christian Club will meet every Tuesday during lunch. If you have first lunch, it's in Miss O'Neill's room, and if you have second lunch, it's in Miss Haynes' room. Gaming Club also meets every Tuesday in Mr. Maggie's room from 2.30 to 3.30. We will have February the 16th and 18th off from school for President's Day weekend. That's a four-day break. Now to Adriano with the ASB update. Thanks, Emmett. Welcome to your ASB update. I'm the new host, Adriana, and here I have Cooper and Madden. 
So what is ASBF planned for us this week? So on Wednesday, February 7th, the 7th and 8th graders have an ASB trip. Some ASB 7th and 8th graders are attending a leadership conference all day. If you're going, make sure you make up all your work that you were absent for. Do we have anything else? Yes, on February 8th, we have Science Olympians Parent Night from 5 to 6. For the parents of Science Olympians, please come to our Information Night to get details on what to expect for Competition Day. Well, that sounds important. I know Valentine's Day is coming up. Do we have anything planned for that? Yeah, from February 5th to February 12th, Valentine grams are being sold. You can send a candy and a nice message to your friends for a dollar with an ASB sticker and 150 without. We are only selling 200 grams, so do not miss out. The grams will be delivered February 14th at advisory. Also, since the Super Bowl is coming up on Feb Friday, February 9th, we have a Super Bowl celebration. You can wear your favorite jerseys or the team colors of those in the Super Bowl, which are red and yellow or scarlet and gold. Make sure to join us for football brunch activity. Thanks for filling us in, ASB. Back to Ashley and Casper. Thanks, Adriana. Well, that's it for this show, Falcons. We'll see you next time on, on Falcon, Falcon TV. TV.